peace and joy of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome back to our daily podcast, The Transformed by Faith Today. As we continue on our 28 days devotional on generosity, we are invited this week to meditate on living with faith. To that end, the proposed scriptures reading for today is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 11. As follow, we read from the New King James Version. If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? Amen. Living with faith, what does it really mean for you and I as believers? According to Sky Jetani, faith is asking and trusting the goodness of God even when he says no. Before the thought-provoking statements we just read from the biblical text, Jesus encouraged his disciples to ask, seek, and knock. It is interesting to note that the reference to verbs in the context here are all action verbs. That led me to say that living with faith requires us to take actions. As we do, we must also recognize that our actions do not always align with what God's will is for us, in which case the outcomes of those actions we took may not be as expected. So we must learn to accept a no for an answer and be thankful when that happens. By the same token, We must be honest to say no when necessary. But we must also trust in the goodness of God to guide us and believe that he always provides for our needs. So what is the life application for today's Bible passage for us? It is my belief that believing with faith today compels you and I to take an inventory of what we are enabling those in our spheres of influence to do. Remember, Jesus said, As evil as we are, we know how to give good things to our children. Think about a colleague, friend, brother, or simply an acquaintance. What is one thing you and I can do for them today that will make a positive difference and bring glory to God. As we do, I pray that may God open our hearts to embrace the concept of true generosity and enable us to live with faith by His grace. Let us pray. Gracious God and Father, Soften our hearts and water your word that has been sown in us today that we may be changed from within and bear fruit for your kingdom. In Jesus' name, Amen. For today's Living Words, I'm Richard Nubuike. Until next time, peace and life to you.